How's it going everybody? Driver53 here and today we are going to be taking a look at how to get the absolute max amount of grass off your fields in a given year. So this is going to be looking at from January to January on a calendar. Now this is only going to apply if you're playing with the seasonal gameplay turned on. If you are using non-seasonal gameplay where you don't have any different months or anything like that that you go through with the cycles of the seasons, then this is not going to apply to you and you could just keep mowing as you normally do. But there might be something really interesting that you could learn here. So maybe stick around. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. In a previous video, we looked at how you're going to be able to actually maximize your grass fertilization state here using a roller or a mulcher and fertilizer and whichever way you want to go. I totally understand. They're both viable options depending on the cost of the equipment and how much you want to have around your farm. I'm not going to say which one's better because I think they both have benefits. But what I'm doing here is all these values were taken with a rolled state on my field. OK, we did not come back and mulch and fertilize because of I wanted to save a little bit of time. The first thing that I wanted to take a look at was what kind of yields I was going to get after just 48 hours or two months of growth time. Now, what showed up was it's ready to harvest. This is the first day that it actually says ready to harvest after you cut your crop. So what I got here for my yields was 34,241 liters over this entire field that you see right here in front of me. And I thought, wow, that's that's not bad, but it's not the best that I can do. So what I did is I came back and reset, and then I waited an extra day. So now three months or 72 hours, and I got this state right here. As you can see, it's a little bit more golden. You've got the seed tops, and it just it's it's a lot more mature grass. So I went ahead and harvested this and I got 51,344 liters. And I was like, all right, now I've got my two different um, harvestable states and different growth stages right here to start applying all of this data to. So then I started looking at, well, how can I maximize the number of cuts in a year? So the first thing I did was I came over here and every two days I went ahead and cut the grass. So the very first one was going to be in March. And then after March, we went May, July, September, and November. So I actually had five cuts in a year. Now, the way that you do this is in November, you have to prep your field. Now, you're not going to be able to do anything in December, January, or February. But in March, it does get to the state that you can harvest your crop. So what that gave me for a total was 171,205 liters. And I was like, man, that is really, really awesome. So then I wanted to look at two growth stages between each one of my cuts. So I couldn't mow anything in March. I had to wait until April because March was just going to be the first time. That's going to be the stage there on the left. This one right here didn't show up until April. So it's like, okay, April. Now the next time I can cut is actually going to be July. And then after that was going to be October. So I was like, okay, three cuts. That's pretty good. Now these are all at the maxed yield that I could get because we were rolling. So it's not the absolute max, but as long as both these tests were done with the same fertilization state, they're going to be comparable. And my result was only 154,032 liters. So almost 20,000 liters less if I did three cuts at the full two. So almost 20,000 liters less if I did the full growth stage versus five cuts on the other one at the first growth stage. So really, really interesting here that by doing less work, I'm almost being penalized by having 20,000 liters less than if I were to go back and cut it every single day. So it's really interesting here that the one that you don't have to do as much work to because you're letting it grow farther doesn't actually yield as well as the cuts that you're doing every other day or every other month. So then I thought to myself, well, wait a minute, I didn't mow the very first month that it was available March, and I didn't mow the very last month that it was available in November. So I'm missing something here. Those are two months that I wasn't able to do anything in. So I got to thinking, I'm like, well, let me cut it first in March, just like I did with the five cuts a year. But then after I cut it in March, I'm going to let it wait till it's full growth. What does that do for me? Well, I cut it in March, and then I waited three months until June. Then I waited three more months until September and I was like, okay, well it's September now. 
I've got to cut it in November. It's the last month I can cut it. Otherwise it drops back down to growth state, right? So I'm going to go ahead and mow it in November again. So it went March, June, September, November. So what I got here for my grand total was 171,170 liters. And that's almost exactly the same as what I got from doing five cuts a year. Really interesting data here that doing three cuts a year is not going to give you the most yield per year. Now, every harvest, it's the most. Absolutely, I agree that. But for the total of a year, if you are focused on getting the absolute max amount of grass that you need to off these fields, three is not the way to go. You can either do four or you can do five. So it's really interesting here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. And if you want to be kept up to date on any videos that we're going to be releasing here on the channel, we do a lot of testing videos. We do first look videos. We do some mod reviews. We're going to be doing a lot of gameplay style. We even do a couple live streams every single week. If you want to stay up to date on those, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you do, make sure you hit that notification bell too. Have a great day. Nice evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53 signing off.